Um, and, like, I liked the battle against the immortal duo. Poor Asuma dying like that. Oh, I wasn't, uh, I like, I wasn't a huge fan of Asuma, but, like, I actually did feel, I actually did feel sorry for Shikamaru and the gang when, uh, when he died. I was like, oh, wow, I'm sorry, guys. And, <clears throat> and then the pain attack, the pain attack, and you get to see, uh, you get to hear Hinata's confession, and you get to hear Hinata's confession, uh, and it's a confession that was a long time waiting. I, I had been waiting for her to confess ever since uh, she fought against Neji um, back in the Shunin exams. I've been waiting for this day when she'll confess. And, um... Yeah, that still glares. Um... <clears throat> so I had been waiting for her to confess for a long time. And she finally did. I was very happy about that. Um... And, uh... On... And, um... And then after the pain arc... When Sasuke goes and uh, he he's helping out the Akatsuki, he hunted down eight, he hunted down Killer B, and um, and he goes and fights the five Kage. Almost succeeds in almost succeeds in beating all of them. The only way he doesn't get around to fighting is um, the Suchi Kage, and that's because um, he used a cheap he used a cheap shot the second Sasuke burst into the, into the room. Uh, to try to catch him off guard so that he can disintegrate him. Uh, and, uh... <clears throat> yeah, so, like, aside... Uh, so, like... <clears throat> after all that, when, um... When Sakura tells Naruto that she that she loves him that she's no longer into Sasuke and he her response to her is i hate people who lie to themselves when i heard him say that it made me think oh my gosh is this really happening like is he choosing hinata instead of sakura that's the point you see that's the point when I thought to myself that he might actually go with Hinata instead of Sakura. Um, because, like, he knows. He knows that she'll never be over him. And that's made very clear in that chapter when he says that to her. It's made very clear he knows that she'll never be over him. So, so he says that to her. So he says that to her, essentially stating that he's over her at, by that point. Um, and, uh, and yeah, then he goes to, and then he ends up going to Turtle Island in order to gain control of the Nine Tails, and he does, and he unlocks the tro the chakra mode, which looks friggin' awesome! It looks so, it, it looked so cool when I first, it looked so cool when I first saw it, and I couldn't wait to, uh, see, uh, what it could do. Um, of course, that's child's play compared to some of the, compared to, like, all the shit he can do now. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it was just, like, so cool, and, um, and, uh, we got, and we got, um, uh, Kasam Kasame and Conan's final fights. Uh, before they died, and uh, and then the start of the war. The war finally begins, and I will actually get into that uh, in uh, part two because this is going to be a two-part video. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys when we continue. All right, see you then. All right, we're back. Okay, so, um, whew. uh, so yeah, so, 
starting with the Ninja War, um, I like how they brought. I like how he brought back a lot of old villains. He brought back Sasori and Daedra. He brought back Haku and Zabuza. He brought back um, all of the Seven Swordsmen of the Mist. He he brought back. Uh, Suigetsu's other brother and size and size brother and uh former uh former Kage's and former Jinchurikis and uh other former Akatsuki members, other exceptional ninja and like ten thousand zoo uh, like a hundred thousand zoo uh <clears throat> Zetsus and like. It's this huge, huge war going on, and I love it. I think it's so cool. And um, some people say that uh, the Fourth Great Ninja War dragged out a little too long, and I'm like, that's the point. It's war. It's not going to be over in just a few chapters. It's a war. You see, in... In the rave in in the series Rave Master, a lot of people like to think that the last three volumes is the entire war. But no, the war was going on. The war was going on the moment the war started. The moment that Demon Card was revived by Lucia, and pretty much that point on, pretty much that point on was just a war. They're constantly doing battles against different parts of Demon Card. So. So like that took up like pretty much the sec uh, that pretty much took up like um the second half of the series that that was like half the series right there so like that's an entire war and if and, and if half the series eighteen volumes can be consider can be considered how long it would take to put a war uh into um a manga. Then yeah, it's no wonder that it started off in like uh, volume fifty five and ended with uh, volume seventy two. It's no wonder. Um, and uh, and then um, Nart quickly finds out, of course, uh, and he decides, of course, that he wants to go out and help everybody. Uh, he does. He, he does. Um. He goes out, he ends up facing, he ends up facing Toby because the real Madara has shown up and he's a re, and he's, uh, been reanimated, uh, and, uh, so is Itachi and Itachi's going to face Kabuto and Sasuke's joining him and, uh, the five Kage are about to fight Madara and, uh, uh, Killer B, Kakashi, Guy are all there to help Naruto fight Toby and it's like, these three epic climactic battles are about to begin. And like, pretty much that's the point when the climax began. The climax to the series began in volume 61 and kept going all the way until 72. Like, those last 12 volumes was pretty much one long climax. It was freaking awesome. And, um... And, uh, yeah, I, I love the battles. I love, um, the Itachi and Sasuke battle versus Kabuto. I think that ended very well. Um, and Madara just wrecked shit up against the five Kages. And, like, he, and, and like, he, um, uh, he ended up getting, he ended up, uh, meeting up with, uh, Toby or Obito, uh, that's when Obito was revealed, which, uh, honestly, I was expecting it to be someone else, because Kishimoto, uh, he's the guy who, like, always made us think, uh, this is what's going to happen, this is what's going to happen, and then this is going to happen, and then he just says, nope, none of that is happening. Here's what really happens. He just trolls us. He's the king of trolls. That's what he does. But for some reason, for whatever reason, he didn't do that this time when it comes to Toby. He made it be the very person that all of us expected it to be. And, uh, eh, 
I was a little this.